I, I should have covered the spaceship. It looks like a certain part of the male physique. Yeah. Hello guys, welcome. Welcome back to my channel and to this last video of this little series. Um, this is a weird series, I know. I usually can't explain stuff like that, which is great, I feel like. I mean, it's just my nerdy self and I thought you want to take part in it. And also we're going to reveal some of my statistics in the end. In this video, we're going to talk about the puzzles that are under a thousand pieces which I do still have more than I thought because I usually go for a thousand pieces or more because I feel like it's much more of a challenge but I do have a decent amount of puzzles, also difficult puzzles that are under a thousand pieces so I thought we'd go through with it okay let's start with a familiar one um, this is an apple puzzle it's obviously a 3d puzzle it's already assembled I'm not gonna disassemble it um, because when you do it it kind of crashes into a thousand pieces wait not a thousand pieces I don't even know how many pieces it's, uh, it is but it's under a hundred it's like very small and there is a video on my channel how I put together this puzzle which is weirdly the most watched video on my channel over a thousand people watched me put this thing together which is weird but you know it's so funny I don't know why okay let's start with a few um, Ravensburger puzzles it's called mixtape and Tanzania which is just very small 200 piece puzzles it's like relax enjoy you know around 40 minutes and also the the images are not particularly for kids even though it's a small puzzle but um, I have done those multiple times. I feel like they are very relaxing and enjoyable and I actually like doing them if I want to do like a quick puzzle. Um, absolutely recommend Ravensburger is I feel like the, one of the best companies to buy puzzles from. Super high quality, super good images, big selection, you know, there's something for everybody I think. Okay, let's continue with Ravensburger puzzles. Um, I have some excellent puzzles. I feel like these have been very popular. It's, you know, a jigsaw puzzle, but also a, like a brain teaser in the end, or like, like a riddle, like a story behind it, and you have to solve the mystery um, that's within the puzzle. And I have three of them, uh, which is one, the Temple of Angkor Wat. No, this is called the Temple Grounds. Artist Studio and um, the Observatory. This is also the only one that I 100% solved myself without any hints. Um, it's also the easiest one, it's only level 2. The next <laughs> um, difficulty rate is level 3 that I have. And I solved every one of the, of the riddles except for one. I just can't find it. And then I wanted to get a really difficult one because I love good riddles, I love good puzzles. And I thought, I can do it! And yeah, I got the most, like the highest difficulty rate. Haven't solved a single one of the riddles. And I refuse to look at the helping agents because you can scan like a QR code and they um, you know, like direct you to a site where you can get hints. But I refuse. I'm going to solve this on my own. I don't care. Okay, let's go with a miscellaneous one. This is um, a 550 um, piece puzzle of a Zelda map. <laughs> I also like video games, you know, no one's surprised. I really enjoyed this one, not that the quality is the best, also the image could be better to be honest, but you still recognize a few things here and there that are interesting and um, yeah, I really love this one. These are two puzzles by Penguin Random House. The boxes feel like really high quality puzzles. The first one that I got is this, it's called The History of Space Travel and this is called Wondrous Working of Planet Earth. Um, I like this one more, but this is also cool, especially because the image is by PopChart Lab, which just makes wonderful images. I really love them. I um, also bought this one because of Karen Puzzles. Hi Karen, don't know if you're here, but I bought this one because I saw it in your video. I also like this one. I wish the colors would be a bit more vibrant um, because it's really difficult, to be honest. I got this one. It's also a Ravensburger puzzle. It's just two cute images. One on a fire track. And one of a police car. My nephews love it. We've done it multiple times. Start them young. And the other one that I have for my nephews is this one. It's by Banana Panda and it's an alphabet puzzle. It's basically one ginormous long puzzle with the letters of the alphabet and every image 
is corresponding to the alphabet. So we have here an astronaut for A and a ballet for B. And when you put it all together, it is the longest puzzle. It's the longest puzzle that I own. It's 3.5 meters long. It barely fits my living room and I have a big living room. <laughs> also, the pieces are like ginormous, like this. Okay, yeah, let's continue with a Ravensburger puzzle. It's this one. Um, it's a Harry Potter puzzle. It's a puzzle of the bus, the night bus. Night with a K. It's 244 pieces and when you assemble it, you get like a 3D version of the bus. Also, on the back, every piece has a number and when you just put them together, you know, in row, in the numbers, you get the finished product. Like, where's the challenge, you know? Even though it's only like 631 pieces, this is by far the most, most, most difficult puzzle that I've ever done because it's an all one color puzzle. It is from the Crypt series and that means all puzzle pieces have the exact same color. In this case, gold. It's the golden one. They also have a couple of other ones right now. Black, silver, green, pink and I think a rainbow one, which is probably easier because it's a gradient that you could do. But this is all one color. I've only done it once. I was so proud of myself because I did not look at the answer key. Like every puzzle comes with a little envelope that contains a high quality picture so you can see what piece exactly, what shape we are looking for. But it's still sealed. I did it without looking. Also, fun fact, the same image is on the back. You could also see it here, but I actually did not look at the image. Okay, let's go for another weird one. <laughs> this comes in a metal box. And I know, I, well, um, it's actually a picture from a movie that is very popular in Germany. And this is a, one, a picture from the movie called Peri Period One. It's called Period One. I can't explain it. Two gay men are blowing up another gay man's life jacket. That is actually happening. I'm not going to tell you why it's happening. I feel like you should watch the movie if you want to know. I should have covered the spaceship. It looks like a certain part of the male physique. Yeah. I'm gonna put this away now. Great! Okay, so now we're gonna go to um, some gradient puzzles that I have. I feel like a lot of puzzle boxes can look quite tacky from the outside, but these ones look great. A series of three puzzles. They are called uh, Dawn, Dusk, and night. The easiest one is dusk. I want to say I feel like the gradient is the most diverse throughout the puzzle. Um, but my favorite one is this one. I just like the colors a bit more. They aren't super high quality. They only have the standard puzzle cut piece. There are, you know, just two ins and two outs across from each other. Um, no other puzzle pieces. You know, sometimes pieces go where they shouldn't be. Um, it's not a great quality puzzle, but it looks beautiful and I appreciate that, you know, the art of itself. Okay, let's go abroad. Um, this is another puzzle that I bought at Mexico. I got this one as well to occupy myself. It's just big band, it's 500 pieces. It is one of the most difficult puzzles I ever did because the puzzle cut is so similar throughout all the pieces that almost every piece goes together with every piece which is fine in the lower area because based on the image you can see which pieces need to go together but especially on the top where everything is blue you will have a really hard time figuring out which piece goes where so can't recommend this 100% but it, you know it got me through my time in Mexico at least in the beginning and um, yeah I still like it I still did it yeah, and then we have this situation. <laughs> you know, Mexico was one thing, and I also uh, used to live in Austria. Not Australia, Austria, small country. And I usually like to take a few puzzles with me, but I don't want to bring, you know, big boxes. So that's why I put some puzzles into bags, so I can fit them easier into, um, you know, packages and my suitcase and stuff. Um, the problem is I kind of lost the original boxes. They're kind of gone. I don't know where they are, couldn't find them, maybe someone threw them away. I always wanted to take a picture of the final puzzle and, you know, add it to the back so I actually know which puzzle is which. Haven't done that. Um, especially this one and this one are interesting because it's puzzles with lenticular printing. You know, these pictures, when you move your head, it kind of shifts the image. This is a, an image of like a, a swarm of fishes. And this one is a scene, I think, 
in one way it's a scene of a volcano just erupting and on the other way it's like a beachy wave scene yeah i love these two puzzles i've done them many times also very old puzzles i also got them when i was a teenager so i have done them at least like 10 to 20 times and then i have a few more that i bought in um mexico this kind of feels like maybe a thousand piece puzzle i'm not 100 percent sure um i think this is also some kind of bridge maybe tower bridge i have no idea what image it is but the pieces look a bit more high quality and this is i guess a scene from like iceberg north pole i think so we're done these are all my puzzles so um i feel like let's get down to the statistics okay guys let's see how many puzzles i have I counted them all. Let's start with the thousand piece puzzles. I have 38. I have eight puzzles that are over a thousand pieces and I have 23 puzzles that are under a thousand peaches. Peaches? Which roundabout makes a total amount of puzzles that I have by the number of 69 puzzles. Is that a lot? I don't even know. Is it a problem? I don't think so. Okay, so I hope you guys had fun um, checking out all my puzzles. Um, like and subscribe if you want to, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye! Start them young.